Katie Pell is an artist raised in Delaware. Katie's posse is here. Katie was raised in Delaware and she uses painting, sculpture, video, photography, text, and collage. Teaching at UTSA is a good source for mining other people's ideas, she says. <laughs> I like the way that's put. She likes Mick Jagger's unending and unapologetic self-improvement kick and the Abbott Brothers' talent and beauty, but that's easy. That's what it said. I'm just reading the words. <laughs> it's like a teleprompter. Her best friend that she's had is Carla Caruso, and Katie tells stories. She hopes you understand what she's describing, so you can relay it back in a way that she can understand. That's what it says on the card. <laughs> Katie Pell! Hi, everyone. So, do I do something? Um, this is, um, I was thinking about everybody, meaning all of you, and I like the way that, you know, there's this half of you that is like Jesus and this half of you that's a little less like Jesus, it's the God part, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be great to be able to reflect all that's beautiful about you back to you? Like, I'd like to just, like, kind of, like disappear and be able to show you more of yourself and myself because I think that I'm so afraid that I'm just going to, I'm going to blend in and I'm going to go away that I'm not going to stand out, that I'm not going to be like Jesus, that I'm not going to be able to get your attention, that I'm not going to be able to, to grab you or like have some kind of unbridled authority over not only you but my own situation. And so, so I think it's really, oh. So I think it's really important. Woo! So I think it's really important that we all kind of look at each other. Like when I look at you, what I think about it's like how we're all trying to hide. You're trying to hide behind something. You're trying to hide around something. And we're always kind of seeking each other out. And like no matter what, no matter who, nobody really blends in. We look at each other and we see, we see each other and we see we see the beauty in each other, and, and while we're trying to hide ourselves, everybody else sees everything that's fucked up about you, and they're like, they don't care. They don't care. They like that part inside of all of you. So I made this art piece called The Best That I Can Give You, but less than half of what you deserve. And basically it was based on these really old kind of Bible story books I used to get from the 40s. And they were weird because they'd show like Jesus, right? And he'd be wearing his robe and everything. But then he'd be sitting on like a normal bed next to some guy who's dressed in normal clothes. <laughs> and he'd be like comforting him because their little girl was dying of cancer. And it was always some little girl because like an adult woman, like, you know, she probably <laughs> brought it on herself. And so, um, and, and you're kind of looking at it and you're thinking like, wow, you know, like, I want that experience to happen to me, but I want to be like the vehicle for that experience. Like in other words, I want to be the person in the road. And so I started thinking about Jesus a lot and I started thinking about how he's like half like God, but he's also half human. And so when we we're walking around with those bumper stickers on that say like, what would Jesus do? We're kind of thinking about like the loaves and fishes and we're thinking a lot less about whether like when he sits on the ground does he stretch his legs out or does he cross them, <laughs> you know? And when I think about like the high point in your life, I want, to, I want to be part of that high point in your life and I want us to like kind of think about the way that when we look at each other we see these huge connections between all of us, like when you see somebody else acting insecure or looking stupid or trying to hide something lame about themselves, like their fog hat collection, and it's like, we see it in each other, but we don't want to, we don't blame each other for it, you know? We embrace it in each other, so embrace it in yourself, you know? This is a, a piece called Intractable Chatter, and these guys are meeting like ships in the night, and I wanted to set up a situation where People would be walking around and around and around and you'd be able to see them like actually coming close to each other almost like they were going to kiss from my position because I was in like the secret box with the camera. And you could see them and they'd be coming different sections, different sections, different sections, different sections. 
And then they'd pass each other and there wouldn't be that. There would be that moment where I saw them come together even if they didn't know each other. There's a lot of romance. <laughs> but I'm not convinced. <laughs> and I put this woman, I, I included this woman in my slide because I took like 500 slides, but I liked her because she's wearing like camouflage for Nirvana. Like she's ready at any moment just to blend into heaven. I think that's, that's probably a really good way to go. You know? It's like just be ready at any moment. And this is my friend Becky Dietz, and she grew up in Delaware with me and ended up moving here to San Antonio. And there's this thing that psychics do where they say like, oh, okay, show me your palms, right? This is supposed to be a big psychic trick. And if you go like this, it means that you're a sucker. It means that you're really, really open to the world. It means that you're very generous, right? But if you go like this, I think we know what that means. <laughs> and so when I saw this picture of Rebecca going like this, I was like, oh man, she is doomed. <laughs> And I put this piece in just because it reminds me so much of that El Greco painting. And when you think about somebody looking like Jesus, oh my God, this is like El Greco is Jesus. And I think enough is said about this one. <laughs> We've all felt this bad. <laughs> I mean, even their knees are hiding. <laughs> and I just think about them and you know, when you're young and you're like, oh my God, I have zits. Oh my God, I look like crap. Oh, I can't believe I said that, my armpit smell. And when you're old, you're like, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. To be that young, and it's like being rich. To be that unsophisticated. And then you end up like Terry and Banyas, like this magnificent, magnificent living saint among us in a red dress, super strong and brave, and feeling like she owns the world. And so we can't all be like Terry and Banyas or Jesus naturally, and so I built a device <laughs> called Rockstar Butterfly, where you can sit on the wall, and for one moment, you're there, you're framed, that's it. All the animals are coming towards you. They're these giant eyes, and you're the most magnificent <laughs> and beautiful of all the bugs. And this, just to close it off, is one of the most magnificent and beautiful of all the Jesuses. <laughs> and I wanted to include it because he's always been an incredible inspiration to me, and just like Jesus, he was born he suffered, he died, and then he arose again. Thank you. <laughs>